Hey, hey, welcome back to the Broker's Voice. I'm excited today. I have Chris Fisher with Benefits Ally on. Chris, welcome aboard. Thanks for having me, Andy. Awesome. Well, I feel like everybody already knows who you are, Chris. Um, but <laughs> for, for the folks listening in who have no clue who Chris Fisher is, let's start with the question I love asking. Most of us did not get in this insurance industry by design. How did you find yourself in the world of health insurance? I was exposed to it growing up. So uh, my dad was in the employee benefits industry his entire career. He was a tennis player, graduated from, with a finance degree from the University of Texas. And as he is fond of saying, when you graduate with a finance degree, you either go into banking or insurance. So he went into insurance, um, spent his career on the carrier side to start, and then kind of became a benefit uh, broker, consultant, advisor, uh, you know, 40 years ago now. So from the time I was, I was a little kid, uh, he was a retail broker helping, you know, small, medium and large businesses in Houston, Texas, uh, with his own firm. So I was exposed to it from a very young age. Well, one that makes me feel good. Cause I'm a finance major. I didn't realize most of them go in banking or insurance. So that makes me feel better. I'm actually curious. Did he play Texas at uh, tennis at Texas? Oh, he did. He was, he was an outstanding tennis player, both he, uh, and my uncle, I mean, they were playing hours of tennis at a young age. So my uncle was an All-American at Rice, played professionally at Wimbledon U.S. Open. And my dad was, I think, the number one doubles player in the state at 16. He was a four-year letterman, full scholarship ride at the University of Texas. And despite being now in his, you know, 66, 67 years old, he could tear me up on a tennis court. And uh, so, no, they, they, he was absolutely a scholarship player. Okay, so I got to ask, what's your uncle's name? Uh, Ron, Ron Fisher. And he played at Wimbledon? He played at Wimbledon, uh, US Open. I think he made it to the semis, either the semis or the quarters uh, at the US Open in doubles one year. Uh, but I mean, he grew up with Arthur Ashe and he's still involved with Damn. the USTA and all those guys. So, wow. So, yeah, I, uh, they took it a lot more seriously. I played in high school. I was uh, a, a mediocre doubles player, but I did make the varsity. Uh, uh, high school team, uh, but I was not playing beyond high school. Well, that's a really cool story. I did not, I learned something new every day about the people I interviewed. So that's, uh, that's awesome. I go. remember as a kid, you know, sitting down growing up, you know, I'm 44 years old. So when I was a kid watching Wimbledon and the U S open, you, you always watch the finals, right? Uh -huh. And I remember watching Boris Becker, Von Lendl, yep. uh, uh, the guys, uh, I forget, I uh, forget. He's a Swedish guy and I'm forgetting his name. You are um, Borg? No, but after Borg, but but back in the 80s, yeah. early 90s. Anyways, um, tennis, that was kind of when tennis was in its heyday. Oh, yeah. I mean, I was P. Sambras, Andre Agassi. But yeah, I got exposed to it through my dad. Um, you have to kind of close the loop on that story. When I graduated from college in 2004, I wanted to get in the industry, but I couldn't get a job because all nobody was hiring kind of new, fresh people out of college. So I actually, all the group schools that have been kind of in and both out of vogue at various stages during the last you know several decades were out at that time so i went to work for for dell had a successful career in tech sales and then cigna opened up their group school um in 2006 2007 so i kind of got into the carrier side at 24 25 spent some time on the broker side and then started up benefits ally nine ten years ago that's awesome well, then we're going to get into benefits ally the name i was remembering matt vlander I don't don't know that name, but uh, <laughs> but but you know, and I, again, I, I I rarely play tennis now. But I, I'm uh, a guy. Guys remember stupid information. Yeah, that's, that, right. that, that's meaningless. So let's talk about benefits ally because yeah. you're doing some really cool stuff in that space. So again, let's start at the foundational level. People who don't even know what benefits ally is. Yeah, take a minute or two to to fill us in. Yeah, I mean the the way that I, I kind of describe benefits ally is I am passionate about helping both benefit advisors and industry partners to just stop wasting time. Um, there is so much noise out there in the employee benefits world and brokers, frankly, are busier than ever, right? With all the stuff that you have to go do. At Benefits Ally, we're really trying to make it easy for benefit advisors to quickly and efficiently learn about new interesting programs or companies that are out there and for industry partners to quickly and efficiently share that message. And that's where kind of our, our three by three by three videos came from. 
Yeah, we're gonna ask. I'm gonna. You're gonna. We're gonna go into detail on those things because those things are gaining some uh, pretty cool momentum. You know what you said, Chris, is absolutely right. You think about the number of vendor partners in the health insurance industry that waste a lot of time and money uh -huh. going to talk to brokers that are never gonna do business with them or yeah. just are not a fit for them. Uh -huh. You know, I've, I've I can't tell you how many vendor partners I've talked to that plan these trips. You know, and they don't even know if the broker they're about to go see is a fit for them but they're going to jump on a plane, book a hotel for a couple of nights, spend a lot of yeah. money on meals and to only try to figure out if the brokers are fit. That's man, that's a lot of marketing dollars and a lot of marketing time to, to, to really find out. So talk about what you're doing. Cause we're going to go a couple different ways with benefits ally here. Uh -huh. What are you doing with the three by three by three videos? Because we're starting to see them pop up a lot on LinkedIn, which is great. Yeah. What is your goal with those videos? I mean, the goal, I think, fundamentally is to have a consistent format for employee benefit brokers, advisors, consultants to quickly learn about the things that are out there. I think one of the frustrating things for a lot of benefit brokers and advisors is they get thousands of emails and cold calls and LinkedIn messages, and they all want to have these 30-minute Zoom calls, hour-long webinars to explain their value prop. And, you know, I always joke a little bit about webinars. I was like, I have never met a broker that is like, you know what? I'm really bored today. I want, I wish someone would invite me to a 30 minute webinar. I have never, ever met a broker who, who said that. And if, if I'm a liar, please call me out on the comments on this, that, that you think I'm, a, I'm full of it. But, you know, I'm all about adding value and doing it quickly. So the whole concept behind these three by three by three minute videos is we ask the three questions that if I'm a benefit advisor, I care about. And those three questions are in order, what is it, You know, what do you do? Number two, how are you different? If you're a telemedicine vendor, TPA, PBM, whatever, how are you different than the other 50 vendors do the same thing? And then finally, who's a good fit? You know, If you only play in self-funded national accounts, tell me that because if I don't work in that space, I don't wanna waste my time or yours. And part of the whole format, why we call it three by three by three, it's just those three questions, but the vendor partner who's being interviewed, it's a live interview, has only three minutes and three slides to answer those three questions. So if I'm a busy benefit advisor, when I watch one of the three by three by threes from Benefits Ally, I'm going to get the what, the how, and the who from a live person, not a cartoon character, a live person answering those questions. And I'm going to walk away with the information I want to know in three minutes or in less than three minutes. Yeah, and, it, and that... Go ahead. No, no, keep going. And, and the other key part of it is we're also never going to share your information with anybody. These videos are all public on our website, benefitsally.com. But if you do watch the video and you're like, you know what, this is really cool. I want to talk to this guy. There's no crazy forms to fill out. You can hit the button in the upper right corner of any of our videos and it'll automatically open up an email in Gmail, Outlook, whatever your preferred email client is. We can send a message directly to that vendor. So it's all about simplicity ease of use, not having you waste time. Well, and here's what I want you to talk about. Cause here's what I love about people might be like, okay, why three by three by three though? You know, why the three minute thing, three questions talk about, cause this is branding here. Talk about how the whole three by three by three concept plays into your personal brand. Yeah. I mean, I, I got a lot of it. And one of the compliments that I got, uh, shout out Kevin Brown from NFP. If you're, if you're watching this, but I was having uh, drinks with Kevin uh, several months ago, and he made the comment that, you know, and I've heard this from other people too, uh, you know, Chris, you always add value and you do it quickly. Like I'm always not about wasting time. Um, I get to the point and I want to do it quickly. And I think that's what a lot of brokers struggle with is that these vendors just want to talk for ridiculous amounts of time about their, about their value prop. Uh, you know, I, I, I won't, I won't trash any particular vendors, but I saw a vendor recently who was doing something in kind of the mental health, well-being, you know, stress management space. They've got, a, they've got a cool product. The slide deck that I saw from them was 50 slides long. And I'm just, I am struggling to think of any broker that wants to sit through a 50 slide PowerPoint presentation. And so the, the reason that I'm so passionate about this is we're all busy. Like one of the one of the one of the things I always talk about too. If you watch this on YouTube, this, this video, Andy will go on podcast, but also on YouTube. So if you spend any time on YouTube and everybody does, you'll notice there are always ads, right? You get the pre-roll and sometimes mid-roll ads. And if you're like me, they, you know, force you to watch it for a while. And there's like a skip thing that pops up after five or 15 seconds. 
And if you're like me, your finger is like perched over that skip <laughs> that, skip that, skip that thing. And so it's like, if, if we don't want to watch something for 15 seconds, why do you think someone wants to watch a 30 slide PowerPoint deck? And, and when you have the artificial, or not artificial, when you have the real constraints about three slides, three minutes, three questions, what does it do? It forces that vendor to get to the point and get there quickly. And if you're watching a video and you're like, this guy's boring 30 seconds in, X, close it out. And you should. And it's going to force these vendors, force these vendors who are doing interesting stuff to really nail their value prop. So you as a busy broker, advisor, you know, uh, consultant, can spend your time focusing on the things that matter. I would much rather you spend time on our site looking at 15 three by three videos in 20 minutes deciding where to invest your time rather than sitting on one 30 minute webinar going, this was useless after 30 minutes. Well, you just hit it on the head. I think a, a vendor partner's job is very difficult these days because number one, you're selling through the broker channels. And let's be very honest, brokers love to commoditize things. Mm -hmm. Whether you think you're different or not, they're gonna commoditize you. Um, but then when you get your chance to present, you gotta be good. You can't come with this 30 slide boring present. I've seen a lot of good solutions not get sold simply because of a bad presentation. And so talk about site, Chris, you said our site, I yeah. love what you're doing with the virtual exhibit hall. So one thing you're doing the three by three by three videos, how are you then now leveraging them for the benefit ally insight virtual exhibit hall? Talk about that for a little bit. Yeah, so it's a totally free site. There's no cost. You excuse me, you don't even have to register. There's no username and password. You go to www.benefitsally.com and someone described it almost as like Instagram for benefits. Like it's all about simplicity and ease of use. So if you go to our website, you'll see all of these videos that are available. They're all sorted from newest to oldest. So you can see kind of what's new, what's hot, what's fresh. Um, uh, and every video will have the name of the vendor. We'll have a very brief description. So again, think about this like a giant virtual exhibit hall, but instead of having an exhibit hall where they're giving away stress balls and business cards and fish bowls, where a sales rep is cornering you, you can scroll through here. Every booth will have a very brief description. We'll show you the vendor's name. We'll show you exactly how long that video is. Is it a minute 45, 228? They're all less than three. We'll also show you when the video was recorded. So you're like, you know what? I don't know if this video is six months old or three years old. We'll show you how old it is so you know if it's, if it's up to date. But also we wanna make it easy for brokers to filter and find the things that matter to them. So there's two ways you can search on our site. Number one, you can search by group size. Every uh, video is tagged based on the group sizes they work with. So a lot of brokers would come to me saying, Chris, I'm working on a group, 450 employees. I don't really know what I'm looking for. I'm looking for a couple of new ideas to bring to the table. You can hit that site within a couple seconds. We will only show you the booths or videos that work in that segment. But we also have a keyword search where every video we have is transcribed, where every word that vendor says in that video is indexed. So if you type in the word diabetes, pharmacy, TPA, stop loss, direct primary care, whatever keyword you search for, it will instantly scrub every single three by three by three video. And if the word you search for is uttered in that video, it will pop up in your results. So you can focus on the things you care about. And again, I'm like a normal exhibit hall that you have to fly to a conference and hang out with a bunch of other people. And that stuff's fun. I go to those occasionally too. This is 24 seven, 365. Yes. And I think there's a win-win there for the broker and the vendor partner, right? The broker gets to come to the exhibit hall and quickly scroll to find the solutions they want. Mm -hmm. But for the vendor partner, they're getting a lot of what I would call passive exposure. They're not having to do a whole lot of work to get that exposure because their video is sitting up on your site 24 hours, seven days a week. Talk a little, if you might, uh, if you're willing to metrics wise, like how many eyeballs are you seeing come to the exhibit hall on a monthly basis? Yeah, it varies, obviously. Fourth quarter, it's down a little bit, uh, but I mean, it's thousands of views every single month. Even in the fourth quarter, the last rolling 30 days, we've had well over 3,000 video views, meaning someone saw a video, said, that looks interesting. I want to click play and watch that video. And, and I think that's part of why we like this idea of the virtual exhibit hall. You know, a lot of vendors have great videos and they live on their own YouTube channel. The problem is nobody is going to your own YouTube channel when you're a vendor, right? You want to be, you know, you could have a great video, but if 36 people have watched it in three years, who cares? Um, part of the idea behind this is that when someone goes to our site, because maybe they want to watch a video on 
program A, but they happen to see your video for program B right next to it going, oh, that's really interesting. I didn't know that existed. Let me check this thing out. So yeah, we get thousands of views. So for any any vendors that are watching us that want to participate, there's no cost to participate um, in our virtual exhibit hall. Um, when we record a three by three by three video, it takes 10 minutes typically, um, usually a little less. Um, we'll give you that video so you can use it in your own sales and marketing efforts. We also share it on LinkedIn where most of these videos get hundreds or even thousands of views within 48 hours. And then we'll also include it in our virtual exhibit hall and feature it in one of our weekly emails as well. So it's great, great free exposure. I want every vendor partner that might be watching this to to hear the, what you just said. So what I'm hearing is if I have a three by three by three video, it's going up on your exhibit hall benefits ally, which is going to get thousands of views every month. Hopefully my video is one of the most watched, Hopefully, but this is yeah. an opportunity to go back to what we started the whole conversation with. Stop wasting time and money talking to brokers who aren't a fit. And, you know, I want you to go to your secret sauce, Chris, which I absolutely love. And you've been doing these for a while. I mean, I'm, I remember I met you in 2000, what, 15 or 16 at Boke Bell. Something like you that. Came, yeah. You came in and representing Benefits Ally. It's where I, you know, we talked about patient care mm -hmm. um, and stuff like that. Talk to me about these trips mm -hmm. that you provide for the vendor partners in the industry to help them ensure, again, they're not wasting their time or their money. Yeah. So, so we do these programs that we kind of call VIP trips or, or innovation blitzes. And, and the idea behind them is that I'm a big fan of selling in person. I love selling over Zoom. You can absolutely close deals over Zoom. But the reality is the relationships, the engagement, you know, that you get when you're sitting across the table from someone and can shake their hand or fist bump or, you know, elbow dap, whatever we're doing, you know, uh, these days with COVID, you just can't replace that stuff. You get much more focused engagement and attention. But for a lot of, of industry partners, it's hard to get those in-person meetings especially if it's a market you haven't spent any time in before, right? You might be a really successful group rep, you know Atlanta like the back of your hand, but you try and come to Dallas or Phoenix or Chicago or Kansas City, you're in trouble. So we do these things that we call VIP trips where we basically take care of all of the details and we'll set up six meetings, a minimum of six meetings in person over two days. We've done uh, several in the last few weeks, including Kansas City, uh, Salt Lake City and Dallas. And we averaged, I think, eight meetings over both those days with an average number of people like 19 or 20 we met over each of those trips where we basically take care of all the details where the vendor, basically all they have to do is show up and pitch. Um, and for the, the brokers, they love it because we'll typically bring in two or three vendors. So over 45 minutes, they can walk away learning about three cool ideas you as a vendor, you're no longer having to make cold calls desperate for somebody to call you back. If we can walk you into meetings with, you know, Gallagher, USI, regional boutique firms, NFB, Mercer, practice leaders at Lockdown, you know, these are all people we've had meetings with as part of these VIP trips. And they love it because it's an easy way for them to walk in and they know that I'm not going to waste their time. When I'm coming in with vendors, we're bringing companies in there doing something cool, interesting, have a story to tell. So I think it's a win-win for both sides. Again, all about not wasting time where don't spend, you know, you, you could spend weeks trying to get four or five in-person meetings in, in a market you don't know. If we can do that for you, take, take, take it off your plate, let, get, let you get in the right room with the right people where business gets done. That's where this, uh, where this solves. And again, it goes, all goes back to this idea of not wasting time, helping industry partners get in front of the right rooms and help the right benefit advisors learn about cutting edge new programs that help them and their clients. Well, and I was going to ask you real quick, flip that on its side for a second from the broker perspective, what's mm -hmm. the value if you are a broker in one of the markets you're coming to, what's the value to sit down with, with you and the, the vendor partners that are on the trip? I, I think fundamentally it's about kind of curating those ideas and knowing that when I walk into a, a, one of these innovation blitzes with benefits ally, I'm going to walk away with two or three cool ideas that I can go leverage with my clients and prospects. I think fundamentally, you know, uh, uh, the employee benefits industry, your success as a consultant or advisor is about execution and being able to solve problems. And when you can walk in and show an employer, uh, you know, to a couple ideas that they've never heard from any other broker before, that's a huge win. 
And you know, whenever we're doing one of these innovation blitzes, I will reach out to brokers. I'll be very transparent. Hey, here's who we're traveling with. Here's what they do in a nutshell. Here's a three by three by three. And you can decide, hey, is this worth 30, 45 minutes of my time to learn about two or three new ideas? But I, I challenge you, or a lot of broker partners, it's where else are you gonna spend 45 minutes to get in-person connection, learn about three new ideas that you can walk back uh, with your clients and prospects are. So, you know, when we come to a city, we typically do a max of eight meetings. So I always tell vendors too, hey, I'm coming to eight firms. I'd love to come by you. If it's not you, it's, it's one it's some, other, some other firm in your market. So if you're a broker and you wanna try and stay plugged in um, with new and interesting stuff, um, you know, we'd love to have you participate in one of these uh, innovation blitzes when we come to your market, come to your city. Well, and, and I want every vendor partner to hear what you've been talking about. I mean, the taglines on your LinkedIn banner, leverage my network to grow your net, net revenue, right? You're leveraging Chris's network with the advisor community to get yourself in front of the right people. So you stop wasting time and money and think about all the vendor part that want to get these rainmaker agreements and referral agreements for the people to make introductions. What you're doing for them, Chris is saying, spend two days with me and you're going to get eight meetings with the right people where the bodies are and that's I mean, so effective yeah i mean i mean we were in kansas city recently you know and and we met with a practice leader uh at one top 10 firm we met the market president of another top 10 firm and you know these are people that are incredibly hard to get in front of and and you know so i think you know it's the question becomes how do you want to try and get in the front of these people you can send them 400 cold emails over a year and you know, do you really think that this person is going to reply back to them? Um, and I think that's really where the where the value comes in. If if you if you've got an interesting product that you feel like more benefit advisors should know about, um, let's get you in the right room to tell your story in person and do it in a way where you can do what you do best, which is sharing your story, sharing your value prop, not firing four hundred cold emails, not making a bunch of cold calls, hoping and praying begging that this guy's going to pick up the phone and agree to meet with you. Um, cause it's tough. It's not easy. Well, let's wrap up here. This has been amazing. Awesome conversation. So many golden nuggets for vendor partners and brokers. If there's a vendor partner listening in who wants to get their butt on a three by three by three, learn more about how you could help them get in front of the right people or a broker saying, Hey, yeah, I want to be constantly in the know of what solutions are around the corner because I want to be ahead of my competition. What are the best ways to get a hold of you? Yeah, find me on LinkedIn, Chris Fisher, Benefits Ally. Uh, we're probably already connected, but if we're not connected, send me a connection request. Love to connect with you. Check out our website, benefitsally.com. Um, there's contact info uh, on there as well. Um, but you can always email me or call me, cfisher at benefitsally.com, or my cell phone's 832 526 8357. Love to put together a three by three by three for you if you're a vendor partner or if you're a broker trying to stay plugged in. Again, feel free to message me or go check out benefitsally.com. All of our three by three by three videos are there. Free to access 24 seven, 365. Chris, I wanna thank you for your time, man. This was awesome. Thank um, you so much, Andy, it was a pleasure. If you're listening in guys, take what Chris said to heart, leverage this man's network. Stop wasting money, stop wasting time, get in front of the right people. But most important, communicate your message clearly. Chris can get you in front of the right people, but you got to have a good presentation. You got to have a good message. That's where the money is made. So for everybody listening in, you know what happens when you get the clarity on your message, you get the confidence, massive action happens. Go make it happen today.